At this job site, it is called a stand down. If it is lightning, you do not go outside. So stand down means no one is to be outside. No one goes in or out of your gate. People are to remain in your vehicles, period. Well, that's not how it went today. Um, I them in and out. So I got schooled by one of the workers saying, a stand down is you are to remain in your vehicle. And I said, that is correct. You are to remain on site in your vehicle, not to come or go through the gate, requiring the guard to come outside as well. I woke up feeling on top of the world, like nothing's ever gonna bring me down. This feeling got me flying high as a bird, I may never touch the ground. It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate. You might be able to hear, as we're talking here, the rain hitting on the roof and we have thunder and lightning going on. At this job site, it is called a stand down. If it is lightning, you do not go outside. So stand down means no one is to be outside. No one goes in or out of your gate. People are to remain in your vehicles, period. Well, that's not how it went today. Um, Ed and I, before, um, well, in between lightning strikes, we went out there and opened our gate and people started coming in. And once the lightning started, we would just open the door to this guardhouse and tell them it is stand down and we will not be signing them in and out. So I got schooled by one of the workers saying a stand down is you are to remain in your vehicle. And I said, that is correct. You are to remain on site in your vehicle, not to come or go through the gate, requiring the guard to come outside as well. He goes, hmm. And then he went on to his site. That's fine, that's fine, that doesn't bother me. Um, I just know what stand down is what the requirements are of the company, and we are going to abide by those. Now, the big company man did come in. He did wait outside the gate for a while, and then he came in, and he said, please let everyone in. So, fine. He went to give me his badge to sign him in. I said, um, I'm sorry. Um, it is a stand down. I'm not going to come outside and sign you in. So he said, okay, just let everyone in. So he went, and everyone went in. Um, didn't sign anybody in. Um, then there was um, kind of a lull here and I had some people come in. It wasn't lightning, so I went out and I signed them in. Right now, the lightning has picked up again and the wind and the rain, which with this job, you need to come prepared for all different types of weather. So if it's raining out, you need to have rain gear because you're gonna go outside and you're gonna work in it. And we don't have a problem with that. We have, I have my rain gear on already so I can go out, but if it's lightning, that's a different story. We do not go out in it. Here in Texas, the lightning is, oh, I think you've probably seen that in the background, is vicious, absolutely vicious. This is the worst lightning we have seen is here in Texas, and we live in Iowa, and we see a lot of storms and a lot of tornadoes. So we just don't go outside. But this is the not so glamorous side of gate guarding is the weather. You still have to work out in it. Just like the normally, um, if you're on an oil field location, the guys are working out in it and you're working out in it. You just have to make sure that you are prepared to have uh, appropriate gear. This site is um, Solar Farm. 
So everyone finally has gone home with the exception of um, at this gate, we have the offices. So the office people are in here and that's okay. They're not gonna run in and out. They're gonna be working on location um, in the office because they're not gonna be able to get into the other locations because it has been raining all night and it has not stopped raining yet here today. And it, so it's just a muddy, soppy mess. But I just wanted to come on here today and just let you know that um, it is not all glamorous and this job can be hard and it can be not fun. But overall, it is not a bad job. Yes, I get my panties in a wad um, occasionally. This morning I did when someone tried to school me about what a stand down meant, but it didn't apply to a gate guard. No, it applies to everyone that is on location, even those office workers. So Ed is out today. He is finishing up the truck. He went the other day and got the um, tires rotated um, after he got the front end repaired. And um, now we had to make an appointment. We couldn't get in until this week. And he is right there right now um, having the front end realigned. He's gonna stop at Walmart and pick up a couple things and then he'll be back. And then hopefully he can get back in the RV with Mason because Mason does not like thunder and lightning and he kept us up all night last night because of thunder and lightning. Um, and I'm gonna insert here um, some lightning video that I took from our bedroom in the RV. It's unbelievable. It's pitch dark out and the sky just gets lit up by all the lightning. But as we go through today, I will try to show you what's going on. There's not much going on. I just have the office people in here, like I said, and I'm working on videos and social media, trying to get our personal stuff done while we have some downtime. And um, I don't know, tomorrow might be the same way because they're saying that the forecast is today and tomorrow is supposed to be the same type of weather. So maybe we won't. And I'm going to quit saying so. Darn it because tomorrow is forecasted to be the same way as today. But we shall see. That's the good side of gay guarding. Ed and I are out on our first round for the night. Once we lock the gate, the hours now are 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Everybody, for the most part, was out today by 7 p.m. I think it was like 7.06, the last one left. But we locked the gate, and then our first round for the night, Ed and I go together and kind of try to- kind of nice. Yeah, enjoy the evening. Kind of like a date. Oh, that's no, scary. I'm just kidding. That, them, <laughs> them days are over. <laughs> But we're on our first round. We had to do two more throughout the night. And we take turns doing that. Otherwise, one person would be pooped. That's the truth. But we're on our little perch. The last guard showed us. The, oh, that's a bird. The last guard showed us um, this perch, or actually showed Ed, because you can see. Um, a long ways, all the way around. Yeah. So you don't have to go around the all the perimeter because it would take a long time. A good hour, hour and a half. Oh, at least an hour and a half. Yeah. So this is a nice perch, so we can see kind of this area, and then we go down by the offices. Well, so we're gonna kind of kind of show you that area, but kind of not. 
No. No. All right. We're going to show you what we see. Next week, you're going to see us start our solar install.